Welcome everyone. So here's what's happening. Um, I love this uh, YouTube channel, Artifexian. If you want to do world building, uh, it's a fantastic resource. So I've been kind of following along. You know, I did a lot of research myself, obviously. Um, what what Artifexian does is take is take all that research and puts it into a step-by-step -step process to build out a planet. I mean, that's one of many things uh, he does on his channel. So anyway, I've kind of been following along, and um, this is the this is the planet right now. I've still got to make lots of tweaks to it, but I've got at least the continents blocked out, and um, yeah, there will be changes as I figure out the tectonic plates, where the mountains are, the ocean currents, and all that kind of stuff. But for now, this is where it's at, and um, I pretty much just did like a quick blobby paint thing just to give it some semblance of actual Earth-like planet looking, uh, you know, as opposed to just this. My next step is I need to figure out the tectonics that are going on and there are there are many different ways to represent tectonics this is a fairly simple one and I think I think this is the best one for what I'm trying to do there there's also like um, so there's there's these where there's like a four color chart for convergent boundary divergent boundary transform and uncertain um, but you could see how you know it actually alternates between you know these are these would be um, divergent boundaries right let me double check divergent and then the yellow is transformed and so these kind of areas in the mid-ocean ridges are constantly are you know are broken up by that because there's they're spreading, but also because the Earth is a sphere, they can't just spread completely flat as if they're on a piece of paper. They're shearing as they spread. Um, so the thing that I like about about this simpler model, like at some point, I want to go through and get really specific with the tectonics. But I think for the time being, um, going with a simplified one. Now, see, there's just one color here because, in essence. In the big picture view, what's happening in the uh, Mid-Atlantic uh, Ridge here is pretty much just spreading. There's localized elements of um, shearing, but it's mostly divergent. Would be so it'd be like it'd be like this, and then like a little a little jog there, sort of thing. Just to I'm not I'm not gonna go crazy with it, but I want to have just enough where it kind of mirrors what happens on, on Earth. Here's a tricky thing where, let's see, if this is spreading downward, and this is sliding past it, this would have to be a convergent boundary. So underwater, so the continental plate is not necessarily Touching it would still be ocean plate here subducting. Okay, I think that's okay. Okay, so we have a divergence here, but then we're gonna have convergence. Uh, does this make sense? This is one of those things where it just looks totally wrong until you put it on a sphere. Like, I ended up with these arrows the way I did, because when it wrapped around a sphere, it was just very counterintuitive where these lines went. Okay, so here's something that doesn't seem to make sense. You can't have a bunch of... You can't have a enclosed surface of all divergent because it would just all squash into the middle an infinite amount. I don't think you can. Let me double check our actual. Here's almost an enclosed. 
let's see, this top point is, uh, I think, transform. Ben Morta, thank you for the sub for a full year. Cheers, mate. A full year. Thank you so much. And don't believe the lies that Josh Foreman speaks about subscribing for zero months. I don't know why Josh Foreman lies like that. Okay, so you can have areas of um, convergence almost completely surrounding a cell, but you cannot have an entire cell that is all all blue, basically. Okay, good. So I confirmed that for myself. Okay, so this is the closest to Africa that I have, because it's got it's surrounded almost entirely by divergence. Right. Africa, almost completely covered in blue. So it's got all, and this is weird. How does this work? Like it has pressure coming from every direction except for the top. It's like squashing out there a little bit. I feel like this is really inaccurate. It does not display the African rift valleys, which is where Africa is starting to rift apart. Let's see how this looks on the globe. Okay, so this is the North Pole continent that seems to work. It's the South Pole that's the tricky. Okay, so this is all pushing. So I think I want to tilt the direction of these arrows that go towards the South Pole or outward. Okay, yeah, so this is interesting. See how tilted that arrow is already? This is that really tilted arrow, and it's actually going the other direction because of the way it wraps. So I need to make it be, like, extremely almost horizontal. Uh, things have been very compressed, stressed for me. You know, I've got a I've got a freelance job that's paying some of the bills, but not enough of the bills. And uh, but it's also consuming pretty much all of my time, so <laughs> it's not a good combo. Still got to get book two done, and to get book two done, I've got to get the planet figured out to make sure that, because Pumark travels against uh, across so much continent in this book, I need to make sure it travels across. It, it doesn't look like a lot, it's really just like, meh, this little part here, but when you, and when you look at the, like, planet as a whole that's itty bitty, but to make sure the biomes are correct, I've got to get this planet figured out. Yeah, I'm just really unhappy about how much pure blue is all around here. I wonder if... Yeah, paying for a therapist. The times that I paid for a therapist, I feel like I'm really glad I did because it always happens like when you really need a therapist, it's generally during an inflection point in your life where, you know, you may do things that you'll regret later and an outside perspective, you know, can really help you not make decisions that you would regret later. But then again, don't always have the money, do you? Yeah, you gotta find the right, the right counselor for sure. There are different personality types that work. There's, there's a chemistry there. Like any kind of relationship, you can't just assume. Yeah, Ben Morda, I feel you. I definitely have transmogrified into chubby Thor. 
over the past four months. I'm a, I'm a stress eater for sure. So maybe what I want to do is get rid of this whole part because then I can have a red on the, yeah, I think that would make me a lot happier. Okay, so the plate would mostly be moving north. It's jamming into this plate here, the north pole plate here, so I guess this would be a primarily a transform. That's rough. Yeah, that's like uh, that sounds like a, the kind of thing that cognitive behavioral therapy would help with. Where you have to like destigmatize, you know, decouple the person, their personality, their name, like all those triggers. You have to decouple it from the healthy things that they kind of pushed you towards. Take off pretty soon here to go rescue my son after a 15-hour shift. Started a, started a new job cabling, which I guess means installing cables and walls. Apparently he was doing that at Amazon today for a 15 hour shift on his very first shift. That's, that's pretty crazy. He took the bus this morning and it took like, it takes two and a half or three hours <laughs> to get from where we live. The like, I don't know, 15 miles into downtown Seattle. Always a good choice. Sometimes I do that, I, I trick myself that way when it comes to eating bad food. I'm like, I really want a big bowl of cereal tonight. You know what, I'll just do it tomorrow. And then sometimes, not always, but sometimes by the time tomorrow comes, I'm in a better place and I don't, I end up not, not needing that emotional crutch. So, poles first, that's always the trickiest part. So we've got new plate being created here, pushing this way. Yeah, if I made this mostly um, transform as well. But okay, okay, right, 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 I'm remembering. I really want, like this is an important line to me because this is making a really cool mountain range. So, if anything, I could extend the blue up here instead of yellow, and then extend this transform line a bit. Although, okay, then we've got this plate coming down here. Hmm. Oh yeah, being emotionally drained. Uh, like, it's so because our brains take up so much of our uh, like caloric intake. When it's constantly taxed, um, yeah, it has ramifications throughout the entire body. One of the reasons why that whole like pull yourself up by the bootstraps mentality is just really BS because your body like is physically at a massive disadvantage if you're under extreme stress. That's why we live in communities, to help each other, you know? Okay, so now we've got a new crust created here, pushing out. That works. I still need to adjust these arrows. Okay, yeah, but I've got this, <laughs> this awkward thing where that doesn't make sense. You can't have crust being created here and here that are both going into nothing. They have to go somewhere. Still trying to figure out the jigsaw puzzle that is plate tectonics. Good luck, Van Morty. I really hope things uh, turn around for you. Sorry, man, that's... People, I don't, I don't know. People, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, okay. Everyone have a good night. And... God bless, and we'll see you on the other side. Bye! Bye, bye, bye!